your starting lineup for tonight's main event here tonight for the CRA Sportsman Late Model. Starting ninth here on the field, the Cambridge City, Indiana native. The Lay and Coin Podcast, Eric Chroma, Runnings Racing Design, number 98 of Presley Sora. Starting eighth from Fisherville, Kentucky, the Auto Elite Fram. Stop Tech Diesel Boys, Bob Hook Chevrolet, number nine entry of Logan Huckaba. Starting seventh tonight from Owensboro, Kentucky, the Stout Racing Engines, 09 Motorsports, Octobilt Differentials from Owensboro, Kentucky, the number 33 of Glenn Neal. Rolling off six from Zinni, Ohio, the Win Roofing, Owens Corning, 38 of Caleb Rashar. Starting fifth, the 47, Greg Stillwell Jr., Holland, Ohio, his own he calls home. Shoes Tree Service, Fast Lane Auto Care, Alternate Plumbing Machine. Rolling off fourth, number 63 of Caston Everidge, the Everidge Motor Cells, Clink Trucking, Chubby's Fish and Steak Machine. Rolling off third here tonight, the number eight from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Formula and Gola Champion, the Tommy Cook, number eight entry. Rolling off number two, it is the Illinois driver, the Fuel Vin Express, number 51 of Joe Cooksey. And starting on the pole tonight, the Quick Parts Hangar 18 Race Cars, Duncan Oil, Shady Bowl Speedway from Dayton, Ohio, Don Mahaffey. That is your starting lineup for tonight's 40-lap main event for the White's Auto Sales 40 here at Salem Speedway as they get ready and set to go for their big main event here tonight. So the CRA Late Model Sportsmen set to go for their main event here tonight at Salem Speedway. First time ever visit for the CRA Late Model Sportsmen. Glad to have them. Always enjoy watching this series. So the first visit of the 2023 season and ever for the CRA. That's a big story. Glad to have these guys here with us. So two by two, going to be a great race. Of course, Caston Everidge, he was fast today. Also, McAfee's number 18 car. Joe Cooksey usually competes here at Salem Speedway. They head on down, two by two, down the back straight away. Salem Speedway, these drivers have been towed on the race receiver. Next time by will be the wave lap. They want to see you on your feet here tonight. The first time ever that the Vores Welding CRA Late Model Sportsman comes into town. I want you on your feet. Salute these drivers for the next 40 laps in the Vores Welding CRA White Auto Sales 40. They are the CRA Late Model Sportsman.
Lights are out on the Salem Speedway pace truck. That can only mean one thing. He will make the hard left-hand turn next time by the Boar's Welding CRA Late Model Sportsman. will take the green flag for the first time ever at Salem Speedway in the 76th year. Two by two entering side by side. Pace truck makes the hard left hand turn. Race fans, here we go. Don Mahaffey sets to lead us to the green flag. Down the front straight away they go. Joe Cooksey jumps out to the number one spot. Mahaffey on the bottom. Here comes Everidge on the high side to go down the back straight away. And yellow flag is out. Don't believe they like the start on that one, so yellow flag gonna come out on the speedway. Not gonna like the start there that Joe Cooks, he got a little bit of a jump on the high side. So that will be a total restart as the pace truck will make his way back out to Salem Speedway. So not going to worry about it. Going to give him one to go here at the line. So Pace Truck will not make his way back out. So one to go at the line. Going to try for a total restart here. Mahaffey and Cooksey. Mahaffey has to be the one to fire on the inside. He is the control car. He is your overall fastest on the pole here tonight. So two by two, 40 laps. And the White's Auto sells 40 here at Salem Speedway. We'll have the top three in victory lane at the conclusion of this one. So two by two, we're gonna try this again here as they enter turns number three right now. And there we go, 18, lead us to the green flag. Good start, we're underway. So Mahaffey jumps out now to that number one spot. Here comes Everidge, gonna try it again. Joe Cooksey still in that number two spot. Everyone else working around the speedway here as they enter turns number three and four. And it's going to be Mahaffey winning lap number one here. So Don Mahaffey leads lap number one. Joe Cooksey in second. Caston Everidge goes third right now. Looking on back, Tommy Cook in that number eight car goes fourth. As they come out of turn number four once more. Now Everidge tries to go to the inside of Cooksey. He'll try to overtake the number two spot. The high side is the preferred group here at Salem Speedway. Still Cooksey by a half a car length. So here comes Caston Everidge. He'll try to take over the number two spot as Shiloh is not going to be able to do it. He'll be the first car a lap down in the number 98 car. So right now, the happy overtaking this. He is leading down the back straightaway now. So Don Mahaffey still out front so far in this one. Already four laps up on the board, 40 laps scheduled. So that means 36 laps remain here tonight in your first feature race event. So Don Mahaffey goes down the back straightaway. Caston Everett tries to follow him behind there. Joe Cooksey in that third spot. Then you have Tommy Cook and then Caleb Rashar in the number 38 car. So that's your film right now with five laps up on the board. So now here comes the number 47 of Greg Stillwell Jr. He'll try to overtake the number five spot from Rashar on the inside. Looks like he will. He will slide up right in the front of the number 38. As the number 98 car of Presley Sora will go yet another lap down. He has two laps. Here comes Everidge now, not letting the 18 of a half. He get too far in front of him as they go down the back straightaway into turns number three. So here comes Caston Everidge. Tries to dip down to the inside. Still no avail there. As they go down the front straightaway once more with seven laps up on the board right now in the CRA Late Model Sportsman main event here tonight. So once again, they head on down the back straightaway into turns number three right now. It's still all Don Happy right now. Casted Everidge in that second spot. Joe Cooksey still on that third. So coming around, they are still making fast time around Salem Speedway, over half mile, 33 degree banking course here in Salem, Indiana for the first appearance ever of the Boar's Welding CRA Late Model Sportsman.
So Don the Happy in the 18 still out front right now. Past an average, not letting him get too far in front. Joe Cooksey still doing a great job holding on to the number three spot. Then you look on from there. You have Stillwell Jr. in the number 47, Rashar, and then Logan Huckaba back there in the number nine car. Then you look on back from Logan Huckaba. You have Glenn Neal's number 33 back there running out your field. And then Shiloh Sora here in the number 98 car. So that's how they're lined out right now as they come around to collect lap number 11. Less than 30 laps to go now around Salem Speedway. So still Don Mahaffey from the Ohio area still leading this event. He knows how to get around many tracks throughout the Midwest, and he's showing no different here at Salem Speedway. So still Don Mahaffey in that number 18, still on point right now. As top five cars break away from the rest. As Everett's trying everything he can to get to the left rear quarter panel of Mahaffey's number 18 car with 13 laps up on the board. Eight laps shy, or excuse me, seven laps shy of the halfway point. So Caston Everett's trying to do everything he can to get up behind the number 18. And here we go. He shoots into turns number one and two. He's on the inside, but still the high side of the half. He's trying to work that groove as they head off down the back straight away once more. Caston Everidge not letting that number 18 get too far up the glimpse of that mirror. Everyone else trying to gather it back up. Here comes Stillwell Jr. and the inside of Tommy Cook's number eight car. That is the battle right now for the number four spot. And looks like the 47 will get past the number eight car. So that's gonna jumble the top five just a hair right now. And 16 laps up on the board. So right now, Don Mahaffey trying to stay in front of Caston Everage's number 63 car as he is gaining speed down the back straightaway. Now he'll try to have another run inside turn number three to the number 18 car. Doing everything he can to get, track, get past him down the front straightaway. All over the back bumper, but the high groove is the way to go here at Salem Speedway. We'll see if the number 63 of Everett can do anything with that number 18 of Mahaffey. Two laps shy of the halfway point. This time by now three car battle for the number one spot now. To come out of side turn to number four going down the front straightaway once more. Everett's trying to get a run. There's the last car of Sora on the bottom side. So now a little bit of bumper tag. Gets into the back bumper. Here he comes, but still pulls away from the outside. And now the 18 gets all but loose, has a rear view mirror full of the 63 of average. Now they head off four car battle now for the number one spot as the 47 of Steelwell Jr. now pulls into the fray. So now three car battle for the number one spot. Halfway home, 20 laps down, 20 laps to go right now in your main event here tonight for the CRA Sportsman, late models. Drag race down the back straight away. Here comes Caston Everett to the inside. Battle into turns number three, side by side. Who's gonna get lap number one? Number 21, Caston Everett gets loose. It's still the number 18 of a happy. Here comes Everidge, number 63, back to the number two spot. Battle for Stillwell Jr. for that third spot with Joe Cooksey there. 22 laps now next time by. Oh, boy, what a race tonight here in the Boar's Running CRA Sportsman Late Models here at Salem Speedway. Everidge still on the bottom, side by side. He pulls away now, Mahaffey does. On the high side, coming to 23 laps upon the board. So Don Mahaffey, the Dayton, Ohio driver, trying to stay in front of the number 63 of average. Good battle here tonight as they head off down the back straightaway. You see it right there, the number 18 of Mahaffey trying to stay in front of the 63 of Caston Everidge. Twenty-four laps up on the board right now. Now Joe Cooksey all over the back end of Everage's number 63 car. Once again down the back straightaway. 
tires, are they going to be a factor? Once you get over the halfway point, you have to wonder about the tire game. So Mahaffey still out front right now, the number 18 car. 63 at Caston Everett second, Joe Cooksey third, Stillwell Jr. fourth, and Tommy Cook rounding out your top five cars. Looking on back there, Richard, Glenn Neal, and Logan Huckaba round out your field here tonight. 26 laps up on the board, what a race. Now what's Caston Everett have to do to get back up? He's gotta regather, he's gotta think about what he's doing, not to use up too much tire. But the question is on the flip side, Don Mahaffey, is he using too much tire right now? Is he using all of his tires? We're gonna find out here momentarily, but they go into turns number two, down the back straight away once again, approaching 30 laps. Next time by will be 28 laps up on the board. 12 laps gonna be remaining. Yellow flag is out, big crash down the back straight away. And it is Caleb Richard's 38 car and looks like Glenn Neal's number 33. Close call there for a lot of other drivers, but uh, man, big hard hit on the back straightaway. So Glenn Neal and Caleb Richard's 38 involved in the incident at lap number 27 of the Vores Welding CRA Late Model Sportsman main event here tonight. And what a race, it gives us time to catch our breath a little bit as Caston Everidge almost had his shot outside turn at number two. Did not quite get up to it, but he's gonna have a whole restart here. And that's gonna be very interesting to see because Everidge is a very tough young competitor. I know him very well. And that driver has a whole bumper ready to go. He's gonna put the pressure on that 18 and a half. I just know it. But uh, man, first time here, what a great race we're seeing over the halfway point. The tire game gonna be a little bit of a challenge here. You just have to think, is Don Mahaffey using up a lot of those Hoosier racing tires? So we're gonna see here shortly for the restart how interesting this is gonna be here tonight. Just a quick note, race fans, kiddos. After this main event, if you want to start making a line at the turn four on track gate, free rides here tonight on Salem Speedway, sponsored by Fisher's Towing and Recovery. So all you kiddos who want to ride in a race car out here in a two-seater, you'll have your opportunity here after this main event here tonight. So if you're interested, you'll go to the on track gate. It turns number four. Those are absolutely free, sponsored by Fisher's Towing and Recovery. So that is where those rides are going to take place at here tonight. But we have a lot more racing to get through right now. We're going to have the top three to interview at the conclusion of this race. So it'll be interesting to see what these three drivers have to say here tonight at Salem Speedway. So 27 laps up on the board right now. The Dayton, Ohio driver, Dom Haffey, out front right now. Cast an average 63. He's going to have to do everything he can to try to get past that fast number 18 car. Joe Cooks, he's number 51. He is third right now, a Salem supercar regular here at Salem Speedway. So that's your top three. Greg Stillwell Jr., another Holland, Ohio driver, goes fourth quick right now. Tommy Cook, an Angola Speedway Pass champion, rides fifth right now. Logan Huck of a 0-9 back there as well as the number 98 machine, a Presley Sora. So tough break for Rashar and Niels, number 33 car. Those two cars a scratch. that's never a good sign when you see a double hook on a race car 
and you can see right there back on the back straightaway, they are double hooking that car from the front end and the back, which means a lot of severity of damage on Rashar's number 38 car, and you'll see it being taken into the infield as looks like Glenn Nils 33 going to be able to come out and join during the restart. You can see a lot of damage on that 38 car being limped to pit road right now. Want to give a very special shout out to my buddy Pastor Ron Lasley in the First Baptist Church of Lebanon Junction here tonight with us and all their guests. So welcome here to Salem Speedway. There they are. You know, I grew up, and I'm not going to show Ron's age, but I was, I think, two years old watching him race a thunder truck at Louisville Motor Speedway. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to say anything else about it, Ron. But it's good to see him and the church congregation up here tonight. So it's great to see. So getting ready for the restart. 27 laps up on the board in this event. You hear our friends over at the drag strip tonight, cranking some horsepower up over there. Got the pro mods over there this afternoon, so a lot of horsepower being cranked over there at the old airport runway. Yes, that was an airport runway, but now turned drag strip. And if you've never been here before, if you see all the way in the back, way back there on the right-hand side, that's a drifting course way on the back of turn number two. You can see that track all the way in the back there. So that is a drifting course here at Salem Speedway. So that is to the turns number two area on the very back of the field back there to the right of the golf course. So just pretty cool, kind of like a motorsports complex here at Salem, Indiana. New ownership in 2023, doing great things here and more to look forward to in 2024. So the Impact Rescue Safety Team over there checking out the upper part of turns number one right now as they come down to the track. Looks like they are almost concluding their preparations of the track for the restart. 27 laps upon the board of the 40 scheduled in the White's Auto Sales 40 here tonight at Salem Speedway. Don Mahaffey, the question is, can he hold on? Will the Hoosier Racing Tires hold on? That's the question. Caston Everett right there, ready to pounce in the number 63 car. Joe Cooksey, a Salem Supercar regular here and many times started in the Arkham and Ard series. But you also have Greg Stilwell Jr. in the number 47. He's a fast car, had a great qualifying time. Has he been saving enough tire in that 47? So a lot of questions getting ready to be answered here at Salem Speedway. Who is going to pick up the first ever inaugural race win for the CRA Late Model Sportsman? We're going to find out here shortly, that's for sure. Field doubles up. Now, how hard is Caston Everidge in that 63 going to race that Mahaffey's number 18 on the high side this time? We're going to find out. You have to be aggressive on restarts here at Salem Speedway. Everyone knows the top groove is the preferred groove. The Eddie Gilstrap Motors Salem Speedway pace truck picks up speed, and you only know what that means. We are coming back to the restart. 
Mahaffey and Everidge. Front row to the restart box. We are underway. Two by two, here we go into turns number one. How is it gonna happen? It's gonna be Mahaffey on the high side. Now race out of turn number two. Drag race down the back straightaway. Now they go, a little bit of the front bumper being used. Here we go, get some loose just a little bit, side by side. Everidge at the line by a nose. Oh my, what a race here tonight. More drag racing down the back straightaway. Here comes Keston Everidge, he'll overtake the number one spot. So Everidge is gonna take over that number one spot. He is your new leader, how about that? 29 laps upon the board. Cast an average 63, now goes down the back straightaway. Now pulling away from Don Mahaffey's number 18 machine. Here comes Greg Stillwell Jr. in the number 47. He is third right now. 10 more laps to go. 10 more circuits around Salem Speedway here tonight. We talked about the aggression. He had to be on the restart. Now he passes Mahaffey's number 18. He is overtaking the number one spot. Less than 10 laps to go. So Caston Everidge now exiting turns number four right now. All out front from here. As they head off into turns number three and four right now, Mahaffey's still in the number two spot. It'll be Everidge leading another lap here at Salem Speedway as laps wind down. 33 laps up on the board right now as they all head down the back straightaway. Gaston Everidge trying to make it an inaugural win here at Salem Speedway. Coming up six laps to go next time by. Looking on back from there, Mahaffey in second spot. Greg Stillwell Jr. in the number 47 goes third. Joe Cooksey rounds out fourth. Tommy Cook rounds out your top five right now. Coming to five more laps around this time by. So five more times around Salem Speedway as they head into turns number one and two right now. Exiting turns number two. Mahaffey trying to get one more run to the back bumper of the number 63 of Caston Everidge. They enter turns number three and four outside turn number four. It's still gonna be the 63 with four laps to go up on the speedway. Cast and Everidge now all out front, heading off down the back straightaway once more right now. Coming to 37 laps up on the board and the Whites auto sells 40. Mahaffey trying to make one last run effort because he is running out of time and very quickly. As you see the number 63 coming to two laps to go this time by. Two car breakaway for the number one spot as they head on down the back straightaway next time by. Gonna see the white flag. Everidge trying to park it in victory lane. He knew what he had to do on the restart. He knew he had to be aggressive. And now one more lap around Salem Speedway for the number 63 car. Down the back straightaway they go into turns number three. One more run effort outside turn number four. Who's it gonna be to McCast and Everidge picking up the win here tonight? and your Boar's Welding CRA Late Model Sportsman here at Salem Speedway. And that's how they're gonna round out for your inaugural Boar's Welding CRA Late Model Sportsman powered by Jegs here tonight at Salem Speedway, and we're gonna go to work with your top three in Red Barn Recycling Victory Lane.
And race fans, he's out of the car. Let him hear you. Keston Average parks it in victory lane here tonight for the inaugural Boar's Welding CRA Sportsman Late Models here tonight and the White's Auto Sales 40. And we'll get him up here. That way I don't lose connection. So once he gets everything off, he gets congratulated. We'll get him up here. That way we don't lose him on the microphone. I'll let you get on the left of me over here just to make sure we can get you. But uh, describe that race, buddy. That was a battle, yeah. Um, first of all, shout out to Grandpa at home. Thank you so much. I told you I'd say hi to you. Um, yeah, it was, it was, we showed up terrible, really. Uh, we were second off pace when we got here. I got to give all the credit to my guys. We picked up a second by the time we went qualifying, so it was, it was great work by them. By the time the race got here, we were okay. Um, not quite good enough to pass under green, but I knew if we got a restart that we were going to we're going to take advantage of it, and uh, that's what we did. Great job by my team, really. I got to thank them so much. Well, that's what I was my next question. You couldn't be here alone. Who would you like to thank on that beautiful number 63? Yeah, Clink Trucking, uh, Average Motor Sales, Kelly at Chubby's, uh, Volvo Electrics. Thank you guys all so much. Couldn't be here without y'all. Thank you. There he is. One more time, race fans. Casting Average picks up the win. If we can get Mahaffey up here real quick. We'll get him up here here shortly. That way we know we don't lose it. It's going to be great to talk to this driver. What a race between these two drivers here. The Dayton, Ohio driver, Mr. Mahaffey, congratulations, second place. Man, that was fun watching you and Everidge go back and forth. You know, we talked to him about it. You know he's going to have to be aggressive on the restart. The preferred groove is the high side here. You were doing your best to hold him off, man, but what a run by your 18 team here today. Yeah, uh, I've never even seen the place till today, and every time we went out, we got better. Uh, you know, I've been happy with the top five. Uh, he did have to rough me up to get it, and I, you know, I don't mind racing like that. I'm fine with that. You know, these guys are used to racing places like Anderson. I race Shady Bowl. We do the same thing, as long as they don't cry when we return the favor. There you go. But who would you like to think on that 18, my man? Well, today, Brett and Gary and Cameron came to help me. I got think quick cars, hangar 18 race cars. Yeah, you, we have connection issues, my man. All right. Uh, but, yeah, we're happy with where we finished. Uh, a, a win would have been better if Caution probably bit us. He still may have moved us out of the way. I'm not sure, but it would have been harder for him. Well, there you are, man. Congratulations. There he is. Dom Haffey picks up second. And we'll get Stillwell Jr. up here for the third place run here today, Greg. Man, uh, you, you know, I talked about it a little bit. It looks like you were kind of saving tires because you came on there at the end pretty strong there a little bit. And you did, you know, you guys haven't competed here before at Salem Speedway in these cars. But, man, describe your afternoon. Well, it started out a little slow. Uh, we weren't quite hitting speed since we hadn't been here. We hadn't had a lot of track time. But uh, we worked really hard all weekend trying to get some speed. Finally found it. Um, had a decent qualifying run. And, yeah, we were just basically trying to save tires and have something for them at the end. And, we knew we were a little underpowered, but our new motor's coming here soon, so maybe we'll give them something for the day at the end. Well, first time here, podium spot. Great job of you and your team. Who would you like to thank on that 47 car? Uh, Shoes Tree Service is uh, number one. Uh, my guy, uh, uh, Poxy and Concrete Company, and then, uh, man, I'm drawing all kinds of ways. I'm tired now. But uh, those are the main guys right there. Well, there he is. Third place run here tonight for the 47. Greg Stillwell Jr., let's give it up for him, and he's got something else to say here. Oh, I'm set, man. All right, he's good. He's happy. But uh, let's give all of our drivers for the first time here for the Vores Welding CRA Late Model Sportsman a round of applause. Great to see those guys here for the first time ever. Now it's a brief intermission race, fans. If you want to let your kiddo in a real race car, we have the two-seater sponsored by Fisher's Towing and Recovery. You can line them up at the on-track gate at the exit of turn number four. That is going on here momentarily. And then right after that, Great American Stocks and CRA and me making final preparations. We'll be lining you up on the back stretch here momentarily for your 75-lap feature here tonight at Salem Speedway. <laughs> 